right. So the first type of contraceptive that I want to talk about is the male condom. Now, the male condom is easily purchased at any drugstore, gas station, anywhere. So it should be no excuse for your boyfriend or your man to say that he doesn't have a condom. They're everywhere. So point that out. And if he doesn't have any, I want everyone to see this video, all the young girls out there, to know you can buy them yourself. It is not scary and it's not intimidating. Just buy the condoms yourself. Or go to the health clinic, your nearby health clinic. You can get them yourself. And if you need any, like, um, advice or, like, mentoring with things like that, you can send me a message. I'll, <laughs> I'll buy them for you. But, like, buying condoms sh should not be a scary thing. It should be something that's required. Like, putting on a condom it should be, like, drinking water. Like, you're going to put a condom on. But, yeah. Okay, so condoms uh, protect from uh, protect you from pregnancy, unwanted pregnancies, um, STDs, and STIs. They come in a variety of colors, um, flavors, um, um, uh, sizes, flavors. Some have spermicides. They come in different colors. Um, also, uh, organizer. Um, but this is how they protect you. So basically, there's a barrier between the female's vagina and the male's penis is protecting, it's a barrier and um, it protects you from STIs because the barrier is protecting skin to skin contact. You can't, you're not like sharing uh, bodily fluids, that sounds disgusting, but you're not sharing bodily fluids. But um, if you, and, and also it protects from pregnancy because the semen is, uh, he ejaculates inside the condom so that um, you can just after sex, you can just remove the condom and the semen goes along with it. Um, if used correctly, if you use the condom correctly, there is a 3% chance that you will get pregnant. A 3% chance. That's why in this video I want to discuss all types of birth control because condoms are not that, they're not bulletproof. You know, they do break and that's important to talk about. Like, they, condoms do break. And you need a, ba you need a backup plan. Like, Condoms are great for protecting you from STDs, but when they break, or you, you have to worry about other issues down the road, so it's good to have to be on something else. And that's why I'm going to discuss, but on typical use, but this doesn't it. If a woman uses it the typical way, like, you know, um, hardly putting it on right, hardly ever using it. Maybe he pokes a hole in it. Who knows? Maybe she pokes holes in it. You know what I mean? It's fourteen percent chance you're gonna get pregnant. Um, so yeah, condoms are great, but they're not always uh, proof. You know, bulletproof. So I'm gonna show a condom. Now again, like I said, they do have flavored ones. This is Island Punch. But um, so yeah. I like these because, well, I, I explained earlier, but I'm celibate. But if you ever do have oral sex, and you typically you can't catch HIV from oral sex, but you can catch other STDs. <laughs> so using condoms while your girlfriends may not use it, bitch, stop cussing. You should use it. <laughs> okay, so I'm opening up a condom now. So this is what it looks like. So, you just hold the tip. And these are lubricated. And you would just roll it down on the penis. Just like that. Now, this is a latex rubber condom. And there are, for women who are allergic to latex, there are plastic condoms. Plastic. Or even lambskin condoms. So, make sure that you have all details on, on everything. All right, throw that away. <laughs> Don't be that. Um, I'm gonna also discuss lubrication. Now, some women get dry during sex, and um, it's important to have some kind of lubrication because it will hurt you to have dry sex. But with no lubrication, you're not wet or you're not lubricated enough. The sex will be difficult and will not be enjoyable. So you should get some sort of lubrication. Um, this is rain. 
I'm not using this, but <laughs> I'm not having sex. But, um, yeah. Just lubricates you, relaxes you, makes it easier for the penis to go in. And, yeah, so make sure you pick up yourself uh, some lubrication. The next uh, contraceptive that I want to talk about is the female condom. The female condom. Okay, there's a ton of videos on YouTube that you can actually watch a female leg spread putting female condom on. We're not going to go there. But, um, uh, they're effective for both men and women. Now, this is inserted into the female. This is inserted. So, let's go open it. First, you want to, um, you want to check the thing, check the uh, package, make sure there's no holes. No, uh, the, the package isn't broken. And then you want to check the expiration date. And then after you check all that, you want to make sure the lubrication is spread throughout the condom. So we're just going to softly do this. And then we're going to go open it. This is the female condom. Now, this is the part that goes As you can tell, I've never used a female condom. So we're going to have to do this together. So, I'll show you can look at it while I read. Oh, I was right. I was right. No reason to read. This is the outer ring. This is what goes on the outside. And this is what goes on the inside. The, the ring that's harder, that's more stiff, goes inside you. And this part that's looser, more flexible, goes on the outside. So basically, you get this part here. You curve it like this. You squeeze it together. And then you insert it in your vagina. Then you can have one leg up. You can spread, lay on your back and spread your legs. You can have your partner help you. But you can just insert this inside yourself. Now what's great about this is that you can do this even before foreplay. So even before he comes into the house or your apartment or wherever, you can have this inserted inside of you already. So it takes, so usually people complain that the condom takes away the spontaneity. You know, it's not spontaneous as it naturally having sex would be. But when a female has this already inside her, it's great. So you just put this inside you. And when, once it's rested, and well, first you make sure that it's not twisted inside you, that it's perfectly straight. But then you just rest it inside you. And there you go. And then he just inserts the penis inside here, and you can have sex regularly. And then the cleanup, like with condoms, the, the uh, sperm, the semen, the whatever you want, to ejaculation, can sometimes spill and cause a mess. But with this, you can just slide it out. And there you go. You're protected from STDs, STIs, and you're protected from pregnancy. But then this isn't bulletproof. This is just a, it's, a, it's just a female condom. It goes inside you. But um, this is lubricated as well. You can get them from your local clinic. Um, I'm not sure they sell these in drugstores, but they should. Like, they need to be more, my hands are greasy as hell. They need to be more, like, up to date with things. But when I do have sex, whenever that is, I may use this. Who knows? But I do think these are excellent. These are excellent. Um, but yeah, um, I really don't want to throw it away though. So you can, uh, I'll post a few links online. Um, so that you can watch videos of women actually putting it on appropriately. <laughs> better than what I explained. But yeah. Okay.